guys, I'm Refashioned Hippie, and if any of you have followed me for any length of time, you know that I hate Balenciaga. So when I was asked to do just a blind react to someone's website, I decided to start with them. So literally, I'm going to pick up my phone, I'm going to go to Balenciaga's website, you will see what I am seeing right here, and let's discuss, because... <laughs> There is a whole bunch of crazy out there in the world. I plan on doing this with Nordstrom's Christmas catalog too, but they're not out yet, which they shouldn't be because it's still Halloween season. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot over to Balenciaga. Um, and for any of you who don't know, I hate Balenciaga for a number of reasons. Um, pretty high up there though is that they had this like very weird, I'll post a picture if I can find it. Um, they had this very weird children's photo shoot and they were holding teddy bears that were in S&M gear which was very very odd obviously I object to their prices um but their head designer now you know says that he looks back on his childhood as an immigrant for a lot of his inspiration Ugh. like I would feel better about that if he actually used that in a beneficial way instead of just to make money for himself and his company but that aside Let's take a look at Balenciaga. So I'm going into their website, and this is actually the first time I visited Balenciaga's website without looking for a very specific item. Oh, it already looks so pretentious. Ugh, the theater, who displays shoes like this? And the gold purse buried in sand. Oh, I hate these people so much. Let's look at gold. <laughs> Okay, a maxi wrap dress for $23.50. And they have this on the teeny tiniest person in the world, of course. Which is such a shame because a wrap dress looks good on so many different body types and they've chosen to put it on this person. Not that there's anything wrong with her, obviously. And again, with these ridiculous shoes. Where is this person going? Where is this person going? All right, next up. Ooh, let's do Camden Panta Leggings. What the fuck is a panta legging? Oh, are these these things where the shoes are attached to the pants? Yes, again, where is a human being wearing this? Where is a human being wearing this? Oh my gosh. And the other question I have is like, what, what sizes do you have available? Yeah, tiny. They have only tiny. <laughs> of course they do. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they only have teeny tiny available. That's what, I also hate that. I'm just going to side note this. I hate when a brand does that, when they say like, oh, we only dress up to like a size six. And it's like this right here, this woman, this is a 16. Like I, I am a size 16. It, it is so offensive to me that they don't dress normal human sized women. So I'm scrolling down here because a lot of these are purses and blah. Is this a single earring? All right, so this is a single gold earring for $625. Um, yeah, so you guys might have seen this. I think it's also Gucci that's doing single earrings now, which feels absolutely ridiculous to me. All right, so that was gold. Let's see what else they have. You know what? Let's, let's shop for new arrivals and see if we can sort by price because that is one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. All right. Let's look at the expensive stuff first. Oh, I'm going to be so sad in a minute. I know it. Oh my God. Ah! The first bag is $10,000. Ah! The first bag is 10 <laughs> The first, guys. <laughs> the first bag is $10,000. And it's so impractical. <laughs> Where can you go? Where can you go with a bag that has shit draped all over it like that? Oh my God. Oh my God. Like anyone with a cat, anyone with a toddler, where can you go? Oh my God, Balenciaga. Oh, I was not expecting 10,700. So it's, it's really up there. <laughs> oh my God. All right. All right. All right. All right. Next one. Another uh, ludicrous purse. $6,100. Oh my God. And see, I have to say those pictures aren't even good. 
Okay, so it's like fully sequined. And again, there's shit all over the handle. What do you, how are you supposed to hold this? Oh, but it is 100% lambskin, so we can all feel good about that. Oh my God. And honestly, that looks like something that somebody found at a thrift store. Like you could find that at a thrift store today. It would be vintage and therefore better. All right, I'm skipping to these pants because they're confusing for $4,950. What material are these? Are these, oh, they are lambskin. Mmm. All right, I have a thing about leather pants. Let me be clear about that. Like I, I was, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Faith, also the Vampire Slayer, were like my fashion icons when I was growing up. So for me, you can do leather pants if they're done real well. These, in the, in the picture produced by the company just looks super crinkly and weird and they're not on a person, which I'm always suspicious of, for $5,000. I got opinions, y'all. All right, so I don't like that this says notify me for, again, $5,000 for this maxi skirt. And is this another lambskin? Is everything going to be lambskin? Oh, bull skin. Okay, okay. So just a black leather skirt for a ludicrous amount of money. Because that's the other thing. When Balenciaga is new when they are experimental it, it's it's just crazy stuff the normal stuff that they sell is is literally just like here's a black skirt with pleats on it they're not an inventive company all right i'm skipping ahead a little bit because the purse is kind of bore me i won't lie what is with the panta leggings guys so some of you online have made really good points about these panta leggings that first of all it's like what do you do if your host says please remove your shoes and second, how do you clean these? How is a human person expected to clean these? Although I guess if you're buying these things, that's not something that you worry about. You have people for that, or you just wear it one time and then never again. Let's check sizes again. Yep. Teeny sizes. <laughs> oh All right. I really hate the panta leggings. I mean, I hate a lot of things. I think, I think we know that by now we're comfortable enough with each other. I can tell you that really, really hate panta leggings. Looking for some jewelry. I want to mock their jewelry. <laughs> Ooh, those witch shoes are interesting. Those at least have an interesting shape to them. The Balenciaga men's shoes they just came out with, I'll see if I can find a picture of those, are atrocious. And they kind of have that same design, which I think works a little bit for a women's shoe, but not for a men's. And then again, let's discuss, okay, here's a tote bag. Women's crush medium tote bag, metallic, metalized, metalized, that's incorrect, in gray, $2,700. That's just a tote bag, y'all. Like, this is what I'm saying. Balenciaga just does not have the creativity. It, Because, like, some designers, like Betty Carlson, I can at least respect, like, there's at least something there. There's an opinion there. But so much of Balenciaga's stuff is just plain but really expensive and it says Balenciaga and that's why people are expected to buy it. Like this maxi skirt, let's look at this. This is this is just early 2000s. There's nothing, there's nothing really unique, there's nothing really special about this, except that they've dirtied it and that's their whole look. Oh, that really bothers me. And then yeah, see, I don't, mm, those shoes are, those shoes are a little bit weird. Okay, here, let's take a look at these earrings. So 1650. Nearly two thousand dollars for an eighties looking. Yeah, resin and rhinestones. This is not even real stuff. Also, they have chosen you that woman has haunting eyes. Ha like I can't look I'm I'm backing out. That is haunting. That is haunting. But again, I mean, what I find, oh, nope, 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 nope. I was going to wrap it up, but I'm not now. Look at these boots. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys. $1,600. 16 <laughs> These are so ugly. <laughs> oh, my God. This, this looks like a five-minute crafts where somebody's just cut a hole in the back of socks and shoved their pump through. Oh my God, that is horrible. 
You can see where the toe marks are gonna be. Oh my. And again, pure white. You're not gonna wear these more than one time. Oh my God. Those are shockingly ugly. Oh, oh, the heel isn't even right. So it's supposed to look like you just put your socked foot on top of a heel. That's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, madam. And the look they have them in is like hiding the heel because it's like, yeah, how else could a human person wear these? That is atrocious. Okay. Yep, I was going to wrap this up, but then I saw those. I saw those and I had to talk about it. Wow. I really, really hate that. Oh, and they have them in black. Okay, well, the white is so much better. Oh, the white is so much better. Um, nope. We're not wrapping up yet. What the f... Why does Balenciaga think I want people to see my toes in my shoes? That is unwelcome. That is unwelcome. And what is with this heel? Why would you take a high heel that's already incredibly uncomfortable and make it more uncomfortable by doing that? Balenciaga, you are drunk. Oh my God. I hate all of this. Okay. Nope. Now I'm calling it because I'm scared. So once again, just people are spending an absolutely ludicrous amount of money on these things purely so they can say I'm wearing Balenciaga. <sighs> Oh, we're not even starting on sunglasses. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me on this trip. I'm gonna try to keep them short because you know I could complain all day. Um, but this is like my favorite thing to do. Thank you all so much for your suggestions. I can't believe that I'm so lucky that you guys do all of this with me and for me, and I'm so lucky. Um, I will do more blind reacts though because the world is a shocking, shocking place. And if you want somewhere to send your money for a good cause. I have two books that I did not prepare ahead of time. So one is the Clothing Resellers Handbook. This is a guide to help anyone who is reselling clothing. I sell on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, uh, and Facebook Marketplace. And I have just a lot of little helpful hints, like this is a color breakdown, or a complete breakdown of how I do my inventory system. I have just lists of different brands and where they're from, stuff like that, how to measure stuff. Um, and if you need help in your reselling business at all ever, please send me a message. I am most responsible on Instagram. I'm discovering, sorry guys. Um, but I love what I do. I love the freedom that reselling gives me. If I can help you build your business at all, I really want to. My other book, um, this is why I hate everything reflections on a decade in retail. Both of these are available on Amazon. This is just about the 10 years that I spent working retail before I gave up and crawled away and became the person you know today. <laughs> um, so this has just more comedy. I'm coming out with the audiobook of this because I know not everybody likes to sit and read a book. I physically can't. I, I have to do audiobooks. Um, you can also donate or volunteer or just spread the word about Sanctuary Village. They're a charity that I volunteer for. This is their website right here. Um, we are building a tiny house community for the homeless in Philadelphia. And the first 12 residents will be women over the age of 65 who have some sort of health issue that leaves them at greater risk of COVID. So if you want to donate, if you want to just share one of their posts, please, please do that. And anytime you shop with me, 20% of that sale will go towards a construction cost as well. In short, please don't spend money at Balenciaga. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for joining me. Bye.